On the 22nd of February 1946, George F. Kennan, a senior American diplomat in Moscow, sent the long telegram outlining his views on the USSR. Welcome to History Pod. In the aftermath of World War II, the United States found itself navigating a complex international landscape. While President Franklin D. Roosevelt had sought to cooperate with Soviet leader Joseph Stalin, Kennan believed that the USA had to adopt a dramatically different approach to post-war diplomacy. On February 22, 1946, Kennan sent a 5,363-word telegram to Secretary of State James Burns containing his analysis. Known as the Long Telegram, it emphasised that the Soviet Union was inherently expansionist and ideologically driven. Kennan argued that the Soviet leadership saw itself in a perpetual state of conflict with the capitalist world and that any attempt at collaboration was merely a tactical manoeuvre. He recommended a policy of firm containment, advocating for the restriction of Soviet influence rather than direct confrontation. Although the long telegram was classified, it was widely read across Washington, where its analysis was accepted by bureaucrats. Consequently, it had an impact on US foreign policy by contributing to the Truman Doctrine, which was articulated a year later in President Harry S. Truman's speech to Congress, in which the United States undertook to provide economic and military assistance to nations resisting communist aggression. Kennan developed the ideas contained in the long telegram in his subsequent X article for Foreign Affairs magazine. Nevertheless, it's considered a foundational document in the US strategy of containment, which went on to dominate American foreign policy for much of the Cold War era. <laughs> 